What's up, y'all? We're about to hit back here in a minute. But first, let's check these results. I have not looked at these yet. I've been waiting all day. They came in right after yesterday's workout, and I got that video up. So here we go. Three, two, one, click. As I promised, I'm going to show you all the pre-workout. First things first, salt. About a quarter teaspoon, or a little less which is about a thousand milligrams, a quarter teaspoon is like 1400, so we just put a little less. I already took my electrolytes, I don't need to take more than that, I'll take some afterwards. Um, first things, this is what I call hydroamino, green, it's just a green thing with a bunch of random stuff in there, but the main thing, four grams of simple carbs. Put that in there. This is also serves like my multivitamin because it's got meth, it's got methyl cabal and it's got the good uh, shit in there. <clears throat> beet mode or beetroot powder. I'm not sponsored by this brand or anything. I just have a lot of their stuff because they're cheap, affordable, and they use methyl cabal instead of cyan cabal So that's an indicator to me that they're a lot better quality. <clears throat> Big one. Collagen. Definitely got to get some more of this on payday. One scoop is like five grams. So put about a scoop and a half in there. <clears throat> so about seven, eight grams of protein. Just a little bit of creatine. Like maybe a couple, one or two grams. Some greens. These are just ones that I have. I happen to have. Again, it's another eight grams of carbs, two grams of with the rest of its fiber. But it's only two grams of sugar, but it's got in it's got prebiotics and all kinds of good stuff in it. One scoop away. It's a maca powder somewhere. It's a maca powder somewhere between probably about two teaspoons. I don't put quite a tablespoon in there, and then that's it for that. Sometimes I'll take honey. I'm not today, or I'll take like a one teaspoon to a tablespoon worth of honey, but I'm not today. So there's that before I chug that. But first, I forgot cayenne pepper. Two, uh, two of these capsules worth, whatever that is. So we're also going to take, so mushroom mode, it's just three mushrooms, it's just, it's uh, cordyceps, reishi, and lion's mane. It's just a cheap, affordable mushroom complex. I take three of them before, and I'll also take a couple afterwards. So for some, like, nootropic uh, pre-workout. And then also I take, I got, this is like my main multivitamin, just uh, beef liver. So I'll take uh, some of these before and I'll also take some of those after. <clears throat> fermented B, uh, fermented B complex, it's your B vitamins, but they're fermented so your body can absorb them a lot better. I like taking these before my workout because of the energy and with this it, it coats the stomach and gets it so you should be able to digest those plenty uh, just fine. And then I'm thinking I'm going to add back in arginine because it works so well. Uh, someone mentioned it and I looked into it and it is, but for right now I'm cutting everything out, all the chemicals. Uh, I have a reason for that. I'll talk about it more later, but, but anyway, so yeah.
So, if you're going like, well, hey, why the carbs? I thought you were fast in the keto and all that. You're right. And I think this is the magic sauce. High intensity training, deep fasting, with just that little bit of carb kick before workout. I don't know, I think it's doing something magical. But alternating it where sometimes I work out completely fasted. So I'm training both of those metabolic systems, burning fat for fuel and high intensity fuel is doing like high intensity workout completely fasted. Uh, shoulders is one I'm almost always fasting on because I have to work and I didn't like caffeine. Uh, but yeah, legs and back are the two that I almost always take this for that little extra juice. But it, it does something. And I don't, I don't know any science behind it. I don't care. I just know that I just instinctively tried it and it works. And here we go. Well, I'm telling you that 15 to 20 grams of sugar or simple carbs blows your head off whenever you're deep fasting. Woo! But there you go. If I take pre workout, that's what it is. So, y'all, welcome back. It's probably my favorite day, back day. And of course, I y'all do you just saw my pre workout. That's what I'm taking right now. I was taking some, taking the betaine, arginine, citrulline beta alanine, etc. But I cut all those out about a week ago and now I'm just doing salt and well, like you just saw it. That's what I'm doing if I take a pre-workout. Uh, I switch between that and working out completely fasted. Uh, I don't know exactly what that little bit of carbs does. That's just an instinct thing and it feels good. And I started doing that, if, you know, a little about a few weeks, a month ago. And that's just, I don't know, I did a bunch, started doing a bunch of things right around the same time. And it just, just everything just went whoosh ever since. So it's, uh, it's wild. And ever since I made that video about my mom and started the kettlebells, it was a big, it was a lot of fun yesterday out at the park, just playing basketball, shooting around. And then, uh, it was cool. That little kid came up and he was wanting to play the basketball. So he sit there and shot for a while. So that was kind of cool. And then I ended up just giving him that basketball because he didn't have one and he kept coming up and wanting to, use it and then so when I started doing my sprints I just gave it to him tomorrow morning if I wake up because right now I got like 50 something in my account I get paid Friday well, I get paid technically Thursday yeah I get paid Friday morning so <clears throat> I got where well, I can't remember but I think I've got like a, a $40 something charge and I'm just waiting so in the morning if I still have that 50 something in there it costs 35 to get my in body i'm gonna go get that in body tomorrow morning because even if that charge comes in i have a 24 hour grace period with my bank before i get charged a fee and then the direct deposit from my check work from work will be in there so that won't be an issue but i really want to go do that in body in the morning and that's the working plan so we'll see just how much fat we've lost and muscle we've built and i'm excited for that i'm actually really excited to see and because I feel good, I know that I notice the change, I know what I see, and the uh, the scale, I don't know, that's why I do the embodies, especially my focus being on recomposition. I know the last time, you know, the scale, I, I lost like, what, four pounds, but I gained over six pounds of lean mass, and, and it's all, if I'd have been watching the scale, man, I would have been absolutely losing my mind, only losing four pounds and whatever that was, like, three weeks, four weeks. So that's, it's important for me anyway to be taking a test. It's unfortunate it costs 35 bucks because there used to be a place here in town that did it for free, but it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? So we'll do that and testosterone test. Test results. Let's go. I'll take it, bro. That's fucking, hell yeah, let's go. 593. That's what I'm talking about, baby. I'm happy with that. You. Yeah. <laughs> now, this is just uh, it's a, a total testosterone, so I don't know exactly. I just know that that's right, I'm right at the low to high. I, I'm 
fucking ecstatic about that. That's perfect. 600, from what I've seen, is a good aim. And uh, so, yeah, let's go. Obviously, when we can afford it, we'll get a full test with the free and the available testosterone and all the other blood work stuff. But for now, this is what we could afford. It was 50 bucks. Glad I did it. I know that I felt, I mean, I've never had an issue downstairs, and I damn sure don't have it uh, now, if you know what I'm saying. But, uh, fucking A, 600 testosterone, well, technically 593, but I'm going to just say 600 for ease of memory, right? Remember 4 million, not 4,365,870, right? What, what was that number? Exactly. But I remember 4 million, and I remember 600. So you just saw the testosterone, 593. I'm happy with that. I'm ecstatic. You know, I'm really happy with that. You know, that's and that's completely natural. I'm not taking any testosterone boosters or anything. I mean, that's just the pre-workout, the workouts, the food, and the fasting. I think all that combined, you know, I mean, I, I, that's another reason why I'm doing fasting. And also integrating heavy workouts while fasting, alternating with the pre-workout. Because that's a, supposed to, I mean, one of the biggest supposedly testosterone boosters, and apparently it's working. So, and that's that's all I'm doing with it. I mean, obviously, genetically, I have a natural or higher testosterone. I mean, I was sitting on my ass 23 hours a day for the better part of 20 years, and I had almost 240 pounds of lean mass or whatever it was. So, I mean, obviously, I'm naturally high testosterone, and uh, but it's good to see that. It's just happy because I was watching videos and over and over and over I was seeing these guys that were jacked and all this and then they were getting like 200, 300 testosterone. I was starting to get a little nervous. Even though symptomatically I had no reason to worry because that's another thing. This may be 2MI or TMI, but I I bust at least five times a week. So, you know, I, I, I never had an issue with that. It's just, especially since I started working out. Uh, sometimes more than once a day. So it's just, I, I feel like I'm a kid again. I, I don't say that just for for the meme of it. I, I mean it. It's like I travel back in time, bro. I mean, I never had an issue with that. But from about 27 to probably like six months ago, it definitely slowed down to whether I was with a woman or single. I mean, it definitely, you know, a few times a week, whatever. But now it's just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like a kid again. So, yeah, take that for what it is. And, uh, so, yeah, I feel like I'm I'm in my early 20s again. And I'm loving it. And, again, I just attribute it to the deep fasting, the hard-ass high-intensity workouts I do while fasting. Even with my pre-workout, that's technically breaking my fast. But I'm still fasting. Like, I haven't eaten since, what was it, like midnight, 11 o'clock? Last, no, more than that, like 10 o'clock last night, and it's 4. You know, so that's like 16 hours. Sometimes I don't really have a strict schedule anymore. I just, it's just based on when I start training. I break my fast, obviously, before I train. And so sometimes it's 20 hours, sometimes it's 24 hours. I've done the three-day fast. I'll do more three-day fasts. And then I want to do a seven-day fast as well. We're doing a full-body workout. Uh, at least three three days out of that, and then walking every day through that, and just see. But that's when I, because I want to get an in-body test before that, and then after that, and see what happens in that day's fast, and then take another one seven days after I've refeed it. You know, that's the kind of experiments that I want to do on my own Frankenstein. You know, I want to run my own experiments on myself. So that way, it's just I'm not. Then I'm just documenting what I'm doing, and there shouldn't be any issues with that, uh, with me not being a medical professional or anything. I'm just, I'm experimenting on myself, and I think I'm more than allowed to do that. So, other than that, let's do these kettlebell swings and jumping jacks and get right into back. Today is going to be a straightforward back day, slow and controlled, both rows and curls. With the curls, we're going to go to the 110 barbell, and that's all we're going to do with maybe some dumbbells at the end, but really just gonna focus on using good form on the first sets. And then we'll do, we'll start, we'll do some little more rocking just to whip out some more reps. But I wanna go slow and controlled heavy, which 110 pounds slow and controlled is fairly heavy. And then, uh, so yeah, see how that feels. And if I need to drop it down, I will. 
Um, but the name of the game today is slow controlled. It's that yin and yang approach I talked about last week, obviously. Balls of the wall, grunge set almost every rep or every set. Today, the exact opposite. Uh, I'm sure I'll back, I'll do at least one grunge set uh, of rows at the end. But other than that, slow controlled and then very little cheating and just with the 160 pounds on the barbell. But it's delicious. Whew. Huh. Now we're going to use a kettlebell to warm up our back with some single rows. As you saw, we're doing some pauses too. Works with squats, why not? I don't think I've ever tried that with rows. So, woo! Definitely feel it. And actually, with the pauses, I feel it in my mid back more. So, you know what? I'm gonna do something weird. I'm gonna do alternating body curls with rows. So, I just did that. Now, I'm gonna do a set of body curls, but instead of zercher, I'm just do it with the 50 pound dump I'm um, doing with the 50 pound kettlebell. <clears throat> so I'm just cradling this and I'm just doing like a standing sit up and then lifting myself up with my back, not my hamstrings. stretches the back. Oh. Just trying to figure out the best way to hold this. There we go. Oh yeah, so that's like a zercher. In fact, I think I'm going to superset these. That's different. Instead of just doing rows and then just doing body curls or zercher curls, we swap between them. I like that.
I just realized if I'm working my back, I shouldn't be locking it out because that's hamstrings. <sighs> Think. Man, those body curls are intense. That's only at 50 pounds. Whew. Okay. I need to do a heavy body curl. All right, Zercher. And next week, maybe we'll do that 160 pound Zercher curls. Let me know in the comment you want to see that. But I'll be back for sets, for like sets seven and eight. Whew. All right, so we've done five total supersets. This will be the sixth one, so technically the 11th and 12th. I'm counting it as a superset, but it really is two different movements. So however you want to count that, six supersets or 12 full sets, we're back. Definitely a workout. Not going to do a grunge, because this is definitely taxing my lower and mid-back more than normal, which is good. And, uh, <clears throat> but I've... Obviously, I'm more fatigued, so I'm adopting more of an explosive up, slow down, hold for a second, explosive up, because I'm having to catch my breath at the bottom. So I have to be doing it fluid to be able to breathe fluidly, otherwise I need to like that. So and then, of course, the body curls. So. Whew. Mad science, baby. Instinctive lifting. Superset number six, let's go. Back stretch, that's where the magic of this movement is. Ooh. And this part. Ooh. 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 Doesn't help when I'm out of breath either. Ooh. 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 Gonna take a little bit of a rest after before biceps.
I gotta stop thinking of 110 pounds as a warm up for all fucking curls. <laughs> I always think, I just did all those rows, it should be fine, but you know, it's like that, it's different. I should remember to do one on my stomach. It feels, I can't really do the rows properly like this, super needed. I think it's my gut or something. But. to 110 let's go we were half we having to cheat that just for a few weeks ago Woo. Two more of those, and I'll come back. Whoo! All right, so here we go. Fifth and final set of the curls on um, the 110 pound barbell curls, and then we're going to rep out two or three sets with the dumbbells, supersetted with face pulls. I tried the face pull because I just saw Sam, he did his shoulders day a few days ago, and I was really watching this thing. And the sunrise, and it finally clicked to me how to do. Uh, face pulls for rear delts just don't move the shoulders and I just tried them and they felt great so that's what I'm gonna do Whew, super set curls yeah Woo. tell you you need fancy shit to get a workout in. Everything you see me use today costs less than $150 combined. And if you're half my size, you can get it all for like 70 bucks. 
Father in the kettlebell. The 50 pound kettlebell is like 65, I think, dollars. But the barbell, dumbbells, the bands, the door thing, all under 100 bucks. And then for two of the weight barbell sets, that's another 60. So, whoo! That's over. Woo! What a crazy workout. Man. Whew. Woo! Woo! Let's see. Oh, I'm happy with that. Woo! Oh, we can see our Bedell before. Look at that. Uh, whoo! Her shoulders aren't even pumped, baby. Uh, whoo! Uh, 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 you see that back? Those trap boy, that back is pumped and ooh that look, I mean, I can start to see the sculpting on my traps and my belts and everything. That's so cool, man. My rear delts are popping out like crazy too. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. I'll take it. Little fucking Popeyes, baby. Ooh, ooh. Who needs forearm curls when you do barbell curls, baby? Whoo! Look at the fucking forearms. Whoo! Oh, I forgot I can actually see my back now. Ooh! Look at that delt. It's really popping now. Oh my goodness! Look at that back. Ooh! Look at those traps. Look at those traps, boy. Ah! Look at that rear delt, them traps popping. Ooh! Ooh, that gives me giggity goos, baby. <laughs> 